let me guess high packages at campus placements was one of the main reasons for you to choose viit university irrespective of any campus was i right probably yes and even that was one of the main reasons which drew me to viit university where i had to join a viit andhra pradesh campus and take up the field of ece but trust me it is not uh, as simple as it seems not everybody gets a high paid job and things inside are not uh, smooth or not that easy as the same previously when i made a video about viit placements uh, a lot of people texted me and a lot of people messaged me on instagram and emailed me regarding the internal process and uh, how i was able to secure a job in the field of vlsi being from an ece engineer that is a core electronic background so in this video i am going to cover various aspects regarding this uh, my journey where i have covered my difficulties or what you need to know if you are going into the vlsi field and what are the subjects what have helped i have prepared basically uh, which have helped me in my campus placements regarding the companies from this field and positively if you don't even get placed in my campus placements uh, i will also suggest you where you can uh, try out companies even outside because the prior knowledge which you gain will be useful anywhere so companies are looking for knowledge and there are a lot of core companies so you just check out the video until the end you are going to find a lot of information and if especially if you are from vid campus placements and you are interested in vlsi engineer uh, career in the future it will be helpful for each and every one of you so why delay let's dive in right into the video So basically if you are into the field of VLSI or embedded systems that is core background you need to understand two different kinds of companies because I had uh, interaction or I worked in these kind of companies uh, basically if, uh, both the types and the first one is going to be the service based and non service based I will explain you in detail this is not a specific criteria which is uh, like uh, standard defined outside but this is as per my understanding and you need to note this because this is going to define you what kind of job you are going to take up in the future right so understand this difference between service and non service based companies basically service uh, kind of companies is where they they train you based on the clients who are they are related to and based on the clients project they train you only on specific skill set and they send you to the clients location and you need to work out there so that is uh, where uh, you have very less opportunities because both in the perspective of learning and in the perspective of work you will be limited only to the client based and if the client is not there because it happens most of the time they will be waiting for the client to come and take the resources they keep it ready right so it is like uh, we have a drink in the fridge and it is ready so whenever we are thirsty we just go and grab the drink so we are the drinks in the service based companies where they wait for the customer to come and uh, grab the drink uh, they train us in all these uh, kind of uh, uh, things which mostly the customer is going to ask or the client is going to ask and or else if they would have already asked so they basically train after training they have an extensive selection process or extensive selection process again in client as well so basically you are selected into this some ex company that is service based company and after sir getting selected they give you training and they conduct again interviews that is the client conducts interviews for example if suppose qualcom is a client of this ex company qualcom comes to this client they again conduct exams they again conduct interviews and then select uh, the stu students the employees for their uh, project whatever is required so basically this is a tedious process and the learning is limited the growth is limited here uh, as per my perspective also if you are focused on salary as well salary is also quite limited as compared to the development or non service kind of companies i will come to that later so comparing these two parameters of service and work and learning i don't think uh, you should be choosing these kind of companies so check out the work profile and what role you are being assigned um, before taking up any job for example the current role i am working in in the apex semiconductors is design engineer role so basically this is not the the previous service based role as i have explained and uh, you need to understand this before choosing a company so in service based companies what happens is the companies usually develop some kind of non service based companies they usually develop 
some kind of a product or uh, some kind of service which they can provide it to the customers for example uh, you these people will develop a software which will be used for uh, clients uh, for other operations right they sell the software so there are various other uh, internal aspects and this is one such example so here we are not being body shop to some other companies and uh, these are how things work here you basically have a lot of interface or a lot of interaction with employees here and that creates an environment where you can learn more compared to the previous uh, service based companies where uh, the learning is quite limited and the perspective is very much limited right here uh, um, basically where you work here you have a lot of learning also try to choose a startup companies other than mncs i will come to this later but i have chosen startups because of various other reasons i will come to that later so basically this is the service based and non service based differences and you need to understand the difference and if you are okay you can go up with any other company but understand the job role and that is very important for any core company which you select so let me go on to say, explain why uh, i have chosen say, something like apex semiconductors my company is not an mnc and uh, that means uh, it is not like a qualcomm or rental but it is a separate uh, separate company separate organization which was basically set up uh, founded in the united states and here we have an office in india so probably you can consider it as a startup in india uh, we have quite less employees here and mostly the operations are from the united states so we work in a uh, like a system where uh, the, the complete systems and servers are related to there and we just open it in the, the server like right, right so this is how the things work here and i chose this because i wanted a separate environment where i can work more i can interact more and if i go on to select uh, some role in mncs or qualcomm or all those uh, bigger companies what happens is uh, of course they pay is more the salary is more the hikes are more but the work becomes monotonous and learning becomes very steep right very small uh, we will be assigned a role and most probably we are we will not be able to jump to other roles as well because for example most vls engineers who come on to this field are most likely uh, freshers are assigned the verification engineer role right i have seen that uh, outside as well so that is uh, where you just go into verification and uh, it becomes difficult for you to switch to other fields like dft sta even if you are interested but if you work in some place like startups as i do i feel we uh, get to learn everything and later we can uh, go into the field of whatever we are interested in either requesting the officers here or probably going later somewhere right so it depends completely on you on how you want to work but this is my perspective of what i wanted to do and how i wanted to work so let's go on to see other aspect in this video uh, so now that we have discussed about uh, the aspects of vlsa job and my little background about where i am working and why i have chosen let us talk about different uh, topics what you need to study it which will be useful for your uh, vlsa placements as a fresher at your campus uh, during the campus placements and what subjects you need to focus on so that if you study these it will be helpful much helpful uh, during the campus placements you can start up early and focus on these so basically you can start up with digital electronics and basic uh, f triple that is uh, fundamentals of electrical uh, and electronics engineering right the basics of all these things are very important basics you need to be very strong because every company expects you to know these uh, especially the digital electronics the gates multiplexes everything right so from uh, they give you a form you need to convert it to the other form all the kinds of gate transformations the um, two tables this that k maps everything you need to be so strong in that that you need to be able to speak uh, tell orally all those concepts at least for the during the company's interviews or later you can revise it as well when you are working in the company so that is one important topic you need to focus going on to the other uh, important concepts is the physics that is of, uh, device electronics and physics where uh, they focus on temperature the semiconductors and resistance all those things right so those are some of the important concepts which you need to focus as well also apart from these the subjects which you have prepared uh, during the first year of your bachelor's all of those are very important and uh, in one company or the other they are going to ask you somewhere or the other at least a couple of questions so focus on these basic subjects and if you are thorough with all these things you can go on with the 
basics of whatever you have learned in the initial phases of your uh, first year as well also try to practice problems instead of just learning the concepts concepts will help you in the interview but they usually ask you questions they analyze the how you have answered the questions especially startups of where i have worked they give you a question paper to solve during the examination for the job role and later during the interview they uh, analyze each and every answer how you have answered and first one were you able to answer it on your own and second one how you have approached that problem it is it doesn't matter if you have answered it right or wrong but your approach is what matters and trust me uh, this is going to be very helpful if you practice different types of questions in the digital electronics and all the basics electronics whatever you have learned in the initial phases if i have missed any topic i will display it on the screen so that you can just check it out and prepare it on your own as well try to prepare all these things in the start of third year as well what happened during my campus placements was i was not spontaneous enough or i haven't prepared all these things in the early stages so I had to get a job in the later stage of the placement right so that was what happened to me and I don't think you need to put yourself in the situation where uh, similar to me you need not delay it so if you are strong enough initially company comes and whenever they come if you are strong enough why don't they take you right this is how things work and you need to focus on all these subjects as well and uh, trust me if you are strong in these you can just build up on various other things and it is going to help you going on to see the building um, building up of profile uh, resume and your uh, profile of whatever you build is also going to be very important i will explain you why because during my placements uh, what happened was that um, during my interview um, it was more of a resume based and interaction based and also uh the question paper discussion half of it was question paper discussion and half of it was uh, what kind of profile you portray to the interviewers and how you uh, build up that profile in the three years or so and uh, what makes you different from the other students right so it doesn't mean that you need to be very strong in all the things and you need to have a very high cgpa but Uh, me as a student i had a little research knowledge a little research activities i have took part and there was a few programs like undergraduate research experience program or a little uh, capstone projects of wherever i have worked uh, one paper research paper i have published and little club activities and all those things they try to they expect you to explain all these things during the interview as well so basically try to present all these things i have i even i did portray all these things in the interview as well so uh, do not forget to portray a good profile of yours and this doesn't just come by bluffing during the interview you have to build that during the bachelor's as well so this is very important aspect of profile building and this will also help you in getting a job because Uh, answering all the questions and going to the interview is one step right you have already crossed a gate but crossing the main river is very important and that is only done with confidence with profile and with all the concepts you have been learning over the past 3 years so do follow whatever i have mentioned profile building and all the basics of all the concepts is very important so this what i have done and Uh, basically i as i have told you there is everything needs to be planned in a step by step manner my campus placements or my job journey at the vit uh, to this specific company was not uh, especially or not uh, not specifically planned in this specific manner so i basically ended up here i was not Uh, focused on vlsi career i was a core electronic student not specialized in anything so um, it was kind of a flexible thing and i basically developed vlsi um, all the parameters or criteria whatever are required for the specific job role once uh, they have announced the company is coming and even now i am still building my skills because i was not strong on this specific field right my research topic was different so even you as a student uh, you should build uh, whatever skills are required from the initial stage as well because i was not strong in all these things so this led to a delayed manner or this led to a uh, delayed in opportunity where i had to uh, get this opportunity during the 4 2 that is ending of the placement season though the package is good and uh, all opportunities are good and learning curve is good in this specific company i would have got a job better than this if i was good much better than this and much better package much faster right so that was one of the mistake and i would suggest you guys to Uh, start preparing in the early stages and plan step by step i was not uh, focused on vlsi but 
if you are focused on one specific field uh, try to prepare more on that and focus on everything as well also do not compromise on um, getting a course job uh, if you are uh, dreaming of getting a course job and you haven't landed a course job do not give up yet okay uh, campus placements happen for about two months two years and you are going to get a lot of opportunities a lot of opportunities uh, even after you graduate there are come some companies which come in for urgent requirement so there are a lot of opportunities you need not worry about that so do not give up on your dream and if you're focused specifically on getting a course job try properly preparing and i don't think that is going to um, you're going to miss a chance if you are properly prepared and also uh, there are various other opportunities like for example what happens in campus placements in vit is that uh, whenever uh, proper companies outside in e india uh, when they play uh, give a notification in the linkedin regarding the job requirement the uh, the supervisor that is the camp pat administrator or the campus placements authorities they post the same job profile or job requirement in our campus placements and we apply for that so what is happening here they are taking jobs from outside not from the campus placements relations right they are just taking from the linkedin and they are applying giving to us so what you can do uh, simultaneously with the campus placements you can apply it on the apply on linkedin as well because a lot of companies in india trust me uh, i was uh, i was unsure or i was unclear i was blurred with the i did not know all the information that there were these many companies in india especially related to coal field core sector field there are some companies related to communications there are companies related to embedded systems there are companies related to vlsi so Uh, you need not try only the mncs because uh, mncs have a very stringent criteria and it becomes very difficult for you to get a job in that specific field so basically you can plan a career where you can start up with a start with a startup or a small company you can learn lot of things here right and even like after a couple of years after becoming strong in your field try to go to the mncs where they will welcome you because um, as per my knowledge i have asked various experienced people and what they say is that mncs all the qualcomm or snapdragon amd and all these things they give preference to the people who come from startups more than the people who come from other uh, mncs right so basically they also know that you have a good uh, skills build up good skill set build up good uh, the mindset your mindset your learning curve everything is going to be good and they know that so trust me if you are not if you are not able to get a direct job in the mncs go step by step as i have explained in this video do not lose hope that you are not able to get placed in mncs try linkedin try normal companies right normal companies also pay very good in india you just need to go search develop a skill set and get a job uh, there is a shortage of skill set in india and there are not shortage of jobs so if you develop a proper skill set you can get a job trust me on that so what you need to do you can just prepare well try to attend campus placements try to attend the focused core companies and as me if you're interested go try attend vlsi companies as well also if you are not getting proper opportunities if you feel in campus placements try attending linkedin and various other social profiles as well try for other jobs you are going to get be persistent and try uh, work hard and it is just going to be one year you can just land in uh, proper jobs as well this was my journey and uh, probably my journey is going to help some of you as well and uh, once again i would like to repeat i haven't got into mncs because of the stringent criteria and i felt going from a startup to mncs is what would build my career much bigger than going directly to a job with where they pay you 30 lakhs and your learning is steep and your work pressure is high so that is what i feel probably my experience and my suggestions would help some of you in learning a lot and in facing your campus placements especially in the field of core jobs and vlsi thank you so much this is vek signing off stay safe stay informative bye bye